Hi, this is Dr. B. Let's do the XEF2O Lewis structure. On the periodic table, xenon, eight valence electrons. Fluorine has seven, but we have two of those, plus six for oxygen. That gives us a total of eight plus 14 plus six, 28 valence electrons. We'll put xenon in the center. It's the least electronegative. And let's put a fluorine on either side, and then an oxygen. We'll put two electrons between each bond. We use six, then around the outer atoms, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. 24, we have four left. Let's put them here because xenon can have more than eight valence electrons. So the oxygen has eight, fluorine has eight, this fluorine has eight. And xenon, that's OK. It can have more than 8. So you might think you're done. This is the best Lewis structure. But you really don't know until you look at the formal charges. So that's especially the case with something like xenon that can hold more than 8 valence electrons. So let's do that. Let's look at those formal charges for XeF2O. For xenon, we have 8 valence electrons on the periodic table. We have 4 electrons that are not bonding. They're non-bonding. And then we have six valence electrons that are involved in chemical bonds, which we divide by two. Eight minus four minus six over two gives you a positive one. For the oxygen, group six, six valence electrons. We have six non-bonding valence electrons. And we have two that are involved in a bond, two, two divided by two. So six minus six minus one gives us a minus one for the oxygen. Finally, for the fluorine, seven valence electrons. We have six that are non-bonding. And then we have two that are involved in bonds. Seven minus six minus one is zero. And that's going to be the same for both fluorines. Since the formal charges here are not zero, I'm suspect this, I don't think, is going to be the best Lewis structure for XeF2O. So I see the plus one. I'm thinking there's going to have to be a double bond, and it's probably going to go on the oxygen. Fluorines don't normally form double bonds. Let's see what that looks like. So I've moved two valence electrons out here to right here to form a double bond. I have the same number of valence electrons, but now xenon and oxygen are sharing. Let's see how that changes our formal charges. Xenon, eight valence electrons. We have four non-bonding, and we have two, four, six, eight, divided by two bonding. Eight minus four minus four is zero. For the oxygen, six valence electrons, we have four non-bonding valence electrons, and we have four bonding, which we'll divide by two. Six minus two minus, six minus four minus two is zero. And nothing's changed on the fluorines, so they're also going to be zero. Because these formal charges now are zero, I know that this is the best Lewis structure for XeF2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.